The Milwaukee Bucks have put together two all-time regular season runs in each of the last two years, and because of this, the future of their franchise was looking as bright as ever. They have the back-to-back -back winner of the MVP award, who is still quite young and just hitting his prime, they had a roster full of shooters and capable defenders, and they looked like a legitimate threat to win the finals going into the playoffs this year. However, they now find themselves on the brink of elimination in just the second round, and everything they've built is now looking like it could crumble in just one year's time. Giannis Antetokounmpo only has one year left on his contract, and despite him assuring the fans time and time again that he wants to stay in Milwaukee, words can really only carry so much weight, and the minds can be changed. For the topic of today's video, we're going to be going through the five best and most realistic destinations for him to be moving forward based on where he would be able to best compete for a championship, whether the teams would actually have the money to sign him, and whether he would fit there the best. Before we start though, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, as all support is very much appreciated. Now with that being said, let's begin. Starting at number 5, the 5th best and most realistic landing spot for Giannis within now and the 2020 free agency is the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors are a team that will obviously be linked with the Giannis saga for a number of reasons, especially because of the fact that they've proven that they're ambitious enough to create super teams in the past, having done so with Kevin Durant back in 2016. But there are several factors that put them at the lowest spot on this list. Starting with what they have going for them in these sweepstakes though, they have several valuable assets, talented players, and workable contracts for a trade, and if it comes down to Giannis growing so unhappy that he demands a trade so that the Bucks can get something in return instead of seeing him leave for nothing, the Warriors will step in. Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins, the second overall pick in the NBA draft this year, and other future picks and players would all come into play. However, a trade is the only route that they can acquire Giannis because they will be way over the salary cap in 2021, barring any major moves. This is why they're last on the list, because I really do not believe the Bucks will even consider trading Giannis, and for good reason. Andrew Wiggins doesn't really wow anybody as trade bait, Draymond Green is a good utility guy, but is only at his best around other superstars, and this draft doesn't necessarily have any sure thing superstars at the top worth taking a chance on. Bob Myers has pulled off some unbelievable moves before, but this would be the toughest one for him to pull off yet. Moving on now to the team in fourth on this list, we have the Dallas Mavericks. The Mavericks made the playoffs for the first time in the Luka Doncic era this year, and he officially silenced any doubters and proved that he's ready for the moment. Against the Clippers in the first round, he averaged 31 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists per game, while shooting 50% from the field, and he had two games scoring over 40 points, and he hit an unbelievable buzzer-beating game winner from deep to win a game. The duo of Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis will be at the core of what the Mavericks do for years to come, but in order to really contend for championships, they could use a third big-time player alongside them, and Giannis might be intrigued with this possibility. Assuming the team picks up the team option on Luka Doncic's co contract, which of course they're going to do, they will still have about $84 million spent on their payroll for the 2021 season, meaning they'll have a good amount of cap space available, but not quite enough to offer a max contract for Giannis. However, I wouldn't be surprised at all if they looked to offload some contracts of players like Delone Wright and Dwight Powell, which would free up about another $20 million that year. And if they can do that, then the money would start to make some more sense for them to enter the Giannis sweepstakes. Rick Carlisle is one of the best coaches in the league, and Luka Doncic has potential to challenge Giannis in MVP races down the line. So if they can solve the money problem, don't be surprised to see them try their hand at land the two-time MVP. Moving on now to number three, we have the team Giannis is currently on, the Milwaukee Bucks. Things certainly don't look very bright for them in regards to the future they have with Giannis, but they're not completely out of the race by any means. A few months ago, they probably would have been number one on this list based on how well their season was going, but getting eliminated in the second round by the Heat changes everything for them. Because of the fact that Giannis seems like a loyal person who genuinely enjoys his time in Milwaukee, they aren't dead last on this list, but they have undoubtedly 
fallen out of the favor at the top spot. The Bucks can offer him the most amount of money, he's spent his entire career here so far, and for the most part they've built rosters around him that suit his game and playstyle to a T, maximizing his output to the fullest. They've done well getting shooters around him, they've built incredibly strong defenses, and Giannis himself has developed to this point in the system. They do still have one more year with Giannis before he hits free agency, so next season will be the biggest year in the franchise's history, and if they can make some moves to help elevate the team to where they want to be, then they could get back on Giannis's good side. However, another season of disappointment in the playoffs would be the nail in the coffin, sending Giannis elsewhere. Moving on now to the second best option for Giannis on this list, we've got the Toronto Raptors. Masai Ujiri has broken out as one of the very best in the business at constructing competent, highly talented, competitive rosters. He took a huge gamble bringing Kawhi Leonard to Toronto, and it paid off with a championship. Nick Nurse is also the reigning coach of the year who has proven to be able to get teams to overachieve in a big way, as the Raptors were still a top two team in the East this year, even without Kawhi Leonard. Pascal Siakam's development element in Toronto has been unbelievable, the scouting department alongside Ujiri have found tons of hidden gems capable of producing such as Terrence Davis, OG Ananobi, Chris Boucher, and Matt Thomas, and overall the organization defines competence. In 2021, the Raptors will have room to throw a max contract at anybody, along with enough cap space to either add a second big name or fill the roster out with role players that fit alongside Siakam and Giannis if it comes to that. They're a location that makes sense from a money perspective, they're a franchise that makes sense from a basketball perspective, and I was definitely considering putting them at number one on this list, but the next team we're about to talk about has definitely made their case for the top spot the most. Speaking of which, the number one team on this list is the Miami Heat. I made a whole video on this subject a few days ago, so go check that out after this if you haven't seen it already, but the Heat have been planning for a while now to make a massive splash in 2021's free agency, and after knocking Giannis out of the playoffs, it would be naive to think Giannis wouldn't consider joining them. The culture the Heat have built on and off the court is contagious to everyone that steps foot in that locker room. They all play their hardest and are hungry to win, and the most importantly, they have the perfect blend of available cap space, young promising players, and experienced leaders. Jimmy Butler is currently the only guy under contract going into 2021, so they can legitimately go after two max players while also re-signing some of their players like Bam Adebayo and Tyler Hero to extensions. Pat Riley pulled off the first major super team down in South Beach, and we very well might be seeing it happen again in a year. And with that being said, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below where you think Giannis should go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.